Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another watchOS video. Yes, I have not been doing watchOS videos for a while. I'm sorry, but now I'm starting it again. So Apple today released the watchOS 8 developer beta 8 and in this video, I'm going to talk about it. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video, shall we? So Apple released the watchOS 8 beta and uh, uh, it is the beta 8 and uh, you know uh, I have some complaints and at the same time there are bug fixes that I'm going to talk about. First of all the portrait watch face this is the first time that it is working for me. Uh, I know for other people it was working earlier but I don't know it, it's for the first time that I am able to use the portrait watch face so there is that and then talking about the complications uh, i am able to add complications too because earlier on the beta 7 what was happening was i whenever i used to add complications uh, like battery percentage or something in my watch face my watch used to get a respring for no reason like it's really weird talking about the build number you can see this is the build number for the watch os 8 beta 8 after updating this is the build number you will get uh, either it's public version or uh, I mean the public beta or the normal beta version you will get this build number then talking about the normal usage or and uh, is it really buggy and should you update your Apple watch to this one way? well I would strictly say do not update your watch to a beta version as of now yes it is really stable yes it is really good but the battery life that I'm getting is really really poor uh, I mean my watch uh, on standby uh, overnight it loses about 15 to 25 percent sometimes and uh, i have never experienced this like my battery health is 100 percent on my watch but still uh, there have been days when my watch on standby have lo lost like uh, so many battery percentage like 25 percent that's a lot and uh, then talking about the workout earlier whenever i used to turn on the outdoor walk it was uh, just buggy and uh, suddenly my watch was getting weird crashes on the beta 6 and 7 but thank god beta 8 did fix it so yes this is a really big change and improvement for me then talking about splash screen you can see app store have this splash screen and when you will open app store you will see great on watch os 7 but we are not on watch os 7 like i have no clue why apple have watch os 7 here uh probably they will change it to the watch os 8 they will do great on watch os 8 soon but yeah it is what it is right now it shows great in watch os 7 right now except for that uh, everything on my watch is pretty darn good for normal usage and all i have not really experienced any major issues on this watch as firmware as of now and talking about the battery life i will uh, the battery life is something that i can't really talk about as of right now because it's not even been a day that i'm using my watch on this firmware but yes it feels like it is a bit better as uh, i have used my watch for about four five hours now and uh, uh, it feels like it's a bit better but i will update you guys on my follow-up video later this week so consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this peace out and i will meet you all in the very next episode